Back to the channel, everybody. I'm Lady Nika, and with some breaking news. Now, hold on, let me get my studio here. Now, like I was saying, I wasn't planning on coming back down and through. You know, I was gonna leave the shit alone for the day because I had not already thrown two on you, and and I ain't wanna bother you, but. Child, it was some breaking news. You understand what I'm saying? I was down on Instagram, minding my own little business, just strolling, like I always do in the afternoon hours into the evening, just scrolling, seeing what's going on in the world. Plus, I was trying to uh get some more info on that situation went on over there in England or whatnot. Well, I happened to scroll up on Famous uh uh page, and she had posted that. Some breaking news about Karen King and the Tommy Lee situation or Tasha Jefferson, whichever one of them she going to be this week. But according to Famous, well, she put two, two videos up on Instagram, one from Karen and one from Tommy. The one from Karen was basically saying that she was on hold as of today for, you know, to find out about the reunion special that they'll tape on the 30th. Uh, she was on hold, and she didn't know whether or not that, you know, she was going to get the invite. Well, somebody by the name of Alexis with production texted her and told her that she won't be invited in, uh, for, you know, the taping of the reunion. Now, that's good and that's bad. It's bad to me because I would have liked to have the opportunity for, well, I wanted her to have the opportunity to fix whatever was wrong between her, Deb, Abney, and Tammy, okay? Because if you remember in the video, she stated that Tommy had told Deb that her that uh, Karen said that her house was nasty and also that she was upset. Tammy rolled her eyes at her. She didn't know what Tommy had told her. So I was hoping, you know, by the time the reunion comes, and I know it's getting close as we on episode 11, I'm like, well... You know, maybe at the reunion they can resolve that because ain't no sense in y'all being castmates and enemies, especially if you ain't got to be. And especially if in her heart she knows she ain't did nothing or said nothing wrong to these two ladies, right? So I'm looking forward to that. Well, Karen was apparently looking forward to it too. She thought that she was going to be on the reunion show and I, she said she a guest. She's assuming that because of her... You know, saying all that she said about Tommy, that that's the reason why she won't be invited to the season six reunion. However, she said she is going to be on uh, season seven. So we're not through seeing Karen. And I, I would like to know a little bit more about Karen. Like I told y'all in my previous video, let's, talk, let's chat. I got a whole nother level of respect for that woman. Now, I know a lot of people like to judge you by your past and they don't want to let you go. Even if everything that's being reported about you ain't true. All it takes is about two or three people to say it and the whole world will run with it except for the deep thinking, smart people in the world. Thank God I got a lot of y'all them type people on my channel right now. Them deep thinkers and smart people that can decipher the bullshit from what's real, okay? So, I was hoping that that's where season six reunion was going to be an opportunity for Karen to get things straight with Deb and for people to, once again, to get to see a softer side, to see that although this lady probably came from the life of crime, she trying to do better. And as long as she trying to do better, who am I not to give her that chance? She ain't never did shit to me to make me not want to fuck with her. So, hey, I could deal with her. Hell, I even gave Phaedra a second chance after I felt like she was dealing with that damn, she had something to do with Apollo going to jail. She was a part of that and should have been in jail. I, I said, you know what, even though I know in my heart of hearts, this bitch know something about why, you know, this man going to jail. She ain't finna sit here and tell me that this man was bringing you coins and you know he ain't got no damn job because assets recovery ain't no fucking job that he had. Yeah, he was recovering some assets that just didn't belong to him and she knew it. So I I was like, okay, well, we're going we gonna to let that go. We're going to give her a second chance. She fucked that up herself in season nine. Okay, so it wasn't like I ain't walking here with a fresh, clean slate ready to, to at least be able to tolerate Phaedra, even though I seen her for works a long time ago. But anyway, back to love and hip hop. 
She's not going to be on the reunion show, but like I said, she did guarantee that she will be returning from what she know right now. She will be returning for season seven, so we'll get a chance to see. We're not done with KK yet, and at first I was like, you know, I don't want that criminal, you know, element <laughs> all on, on TV <laughs> right about 7 o'clock time slot on Monday evenings. I ain't looking for, you know, I can flip over and watch first 48 for that type of shit, but in lieu of what we learned about her lately I'm more interested in knowing who she is and giving her a decent chance cause everybody deserves a second chance bitch I don't give a damn who you is you deserve a second chance so she won't be there which is probably good because KK got a uh, she said this surgery that she's due to have on the 26th is a life and death type of situation really she didn't go into details as to what exactly the surgery is but she has to have surgery on the 26th and they may have just not invited her to the reunion on the 30th because she won't be in shape to really be able to do shit especially defend herself and y'all know I don't give a shit about what they say about this clause child they still be getting booked at them reunions also we learned that tommy has done an instagram live where she announced that she is done with love and hip-hop tommy act like somebody did her something wrong girl i know what it's like when you feel like the world is against you and you know you get some powerful voices you know to come out and speak against you you feel like the weight of the world on your shoulder and you want to retreat but, honey, if you really, if if we knew this about you like you say in your Instagram live, if we already knew this stuff about you and you ain't ashamed of it because you got a pass, then why are you quitting this show? This show could lead to more things for you and you need this. So, I'm not understanding exactly why you leaving other than it looked like KK sprayed you and now you run it. Girl, you don't never write for you don't never run from a fight. What you do is you stick around and prove a bitch wrong. That's what you do if you were smart about it. Girl, you ain't made enough connections for that little money that you made to last you no long period of time, especially when you getting surges and things like that. I I don't I mean I kinda see it both ways though, y'all. In a way, I can understand that if she knows she's self-destructing on TV, then maybe she don't need to be there. But then again, this show will allow you to make the money that you need to be able to get the help that maybe you so desperately need and have needed for some time. Why would you walk away? You don't have to act a fool for these folks. I'm, I keep trying to tell y'all, baby, you only have to act a fool. if They'll have to find me. I wouldn't fucking quit, but I would calm my attitude down and I would get the help that I need because clearly, girl, we know you're an alcoholic. Ain't nobody judging you, but we know you're an alcoholic. We know that you have a lot of mental issues that go way back to your childhood that makes you kind of, you know, Katie Kaboomish, if you, if, if you will, okay? But I wouldn't quit my job. I wouldn't. But she's saying she quitting. She done with this love and hip hop shit. Um, she ain't got shit to prove. You didn't come on the show. I hope to prove anything. I was hoping you came on this show to better yourself. Uh, this may be reality TV. And the norm is to cut up enough to be, you know, to keep being invited to come back season after season. However, it you can you have become popular enough to where you can kind of like be like nah I ain't gonna go that far with it and if you don't you know what I'm saying even if they tell you okay well you gotta do it or you out of here at least you know that you you stood your ground about that that's all I'm saying I wouldn't I would use this platform as a way of elevating myself I ain't never against getting on reality TV and I know they gonna come for me but bitch I bet you let me show you how you flip it you flip it like hey Michelle did okay you find that talent that you got and you work that shit to the best of your ability you flip the the the, 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 pro, uh, the persona that comes with being on reality TV to your benefit You've seen it in K. Michelle. We see it in Candy season after season over there at the Real Housewives of Atlanta. You can turn this that, that negative image into a positive one. You even see, look at Jocelyn. Jocelyn ain't like she was season one. 
So it's life for you, girl. And you can, this, this, this job will help you get the help that you so desperately need. But if you feel like that this is not for you and you want to leave, then you know you better than me. So before you catch a charge, baby, I would advise you to go on and go. But I just wanted to come in and let y'all know that I was down there on Famous, And I'm going to try to link her in my description box so y'all can go to the article and read it for yourself and see the uh, videos as well. But... Yeah, uh, that was the latest happening in the world of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. The reunion will be filmed on the 31st. I mean, on the 30th. Karen is not going to be at the reunion. Um, she was not invited by the producers. And as of right now, they're saying Tommy has quit the show. And she has a Instagram Live that she did basically telling us that that's what's so. So, y'all get down in the comments, tell me what y'all think about this old foolishness going on down here in the world of love and hip-hop. And I'll see you guys back tomorrow for love and hip I mean, not for love and hip-hop, for if loving you is wrong. I'm finna get ready to go watch it now, but I ain't gonna record it until tomorrow morning. So, I had it up for y'all. But I just had to give y'all that little piece of breaking news, because I saw it. And I had just talked about love and hip-hop, so I feel like coming on back down while the well, blood was running warm in my veins and share that with y'all and tell me what y'all think about that. Do you think that Karen should? Because uh, she said if she get invited, you know, like if they change a mind or something like that, she'll put her surgery off yet again just so she can attend it. Because quite naturally, if she go have that surgery on the 26th, she ain't going to be ready for the 30th. But y'all tell me what y'all think. Do y'all think that it's a good idea that Karen King won't be at the uh, reunion? Uh, or do you want to see her at the reunion? And what you think about Tommy deciding that now she don't want to deal with this love and hip-hop shit no more. She feel like she, she can move on and do better things for herself. So y'all let me know what y'all think about that down there in the description box. Remember, I'm in that panty section down there. Um, check the description box. I'll have a link to that article as well as the uh, campaign for love. Matea, I ain't forget about Matea, a uh, seven-year-old that's going through vocal papilloma. Y'all can click the link and read the story, and if you got it within your capability, please donate to this child. Y'all remember the death of your struggle will determine the height of your success in the meantime, in between time. Please remember to like this video. I hear likes help us get our videos in rotation more, so if you would like this, I would definitely appreciate it. You can comment down in the panty section. You'll always get a response from me. Sometimes it may take me a day or two, but I'm going to get back to you and say something. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And share this video on wherever it is that you share videos, honey. And I'll see y'all later. Y'all have a good night. Peace.